successful have you been in those situations during practice? Say again? How successful have you been in those two-minute situations this season in practice? Uh, we've been pretty successful. I depend on the situation. Um, I'd say out of this week, defense has stopped us a, a, a few times, but uh, we're usually pretty successful in the way we go down and execute uh, and uh, get dropped, get scores there. Sorry. Jack, what, have you been, you feel more confident? Sorry. You feel more confident the last couple of weeks personally. I mean, you seem like you're playing maybe with a little more confidence the last two weeks than you had maybe earlier on this year. Yeah, I definitely do. Um, and I don't know if it, I don't know exactly what it is. It's part of it's just the, the offensive line, their mindset that they're playing with. It gives confidence to everybody when you step in that huddle. It's contagious. Um, but then again, just having a consistent rotation um, outside, uh, knowing what guys are good at, knowing when a certain guy's in the in the huddle, what play he's going to run, and what he's going to do for our offense, and um, the team. Just really picking up right now. Everybody's buying into their role, no matter what it is, no matter how big it is, how small it is on offense, defense, and special teams. Everybody's just buying into their role, and we're all coming together. We're all playing more comfortable and, more, and better complementary football. Uh, and when you can do that, you get wins like we did tonight on the road. You talk about Tennessee Zeke without, without <coughs> with the ball in his hand. You talk about his ability to pick up the blitz. I think he had a big pick up there on the fast to gallop on third down. Yeah, I mean, that's. That's what Zeke's done since day one. Uh, Zeke's a great pass uh, pass blocker and protection. He's always going to pick up. He's either cleaning up um, something on the offensive line or getting out and helping me uh, by giving me somewhere to go with the ball. So those two things complement each other. Uh, if he's not cleaning up the protection himself, he's usually getting out and giving me somewhere to, you know, to get it out of my hands fast. So um, he's just a great player. And as I said, as much as we can um, get him touches with the ball and then he plays as well as he does without the ball in his hands, uh, this offensive team usually has a lot of success. Has anything changed the last two weeks with you guys? Outside of you got wins? Anything? Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> we're winning. Uh, we're winning, but it, but it, we're using that momentum. Uh, as I said, everybody's just buying in their role. It, we're, we're gelling at the right time. We're playing complimentary football on offense. We're complimenting the defense. They get turnovers. We're, t- we're turning into the points. Uh, and when you do that, you give yourself a chance. And, and we know we're going to be in, in every game. So we have this mentality of, as I said, our back against the walls. Uh, and we're going to go score. We're going we're gonna to win whatever it takes on this show tonight. You grew up a Cowboys fan. What, what does the Thanksgiving Day game mean to you? I know it's early on. You just finished this one. But what does that game mean to you as a guy who's always followed the Cowboys and now you're part of it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's humbling just to think I'm on this side of it. I mean, all the years of watching the Cowboys and eating Thanksgiving and then turning on the game, uh, now to play the game and then go eat Thanksgiving, uh, just a little different scheduling there. But uh, it's humbling. I know how how important that game is and how big this game is, especially uh, coming up this week. Did you get your ankle rolled up on that one sack in the second half? Just got hit nice. Just a good hit. Thanks, guys. Yeah, appreciate it.